Hey yo, what's up guys, this is here, back in the video, and today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the new crowd device in Fortnite Creative. I have not done one of these videos in a really long time, so I'm happy to be coming back to these, you know? Alright, uh, let me just stop talking, and let's get to it. So, of course, you're actually going to want to get the device. The device looks like this, it has just like a bunch of, um, icons, I guess I'll call them, right? So, uh, let's just place it down real quick. So, this is what you start out with, right? You have, um... I see Aura, Jonesy, Poise Paymaker, Rustler, you know, all these skins. And uh, it starts with just a couple. So let's look into the settings real quick. Alright, so as you can see, um, there's actually not many settings, like, at all. Um, we have the character angle randomness. So, you know what this means? Let's put it up to 100. So literally, they will face anywhere. Like, it's, it's very random. They will literally face anywhere. And when you put it down, if you can tell... Um, like, their main direction that they, you know, usually face, which is, like, over here or whatever, um, becomes less and less when you're, like, increasing it or de- when you're- but when you're decreasing it, it slowly goes back. You can see? More and more characters, so if you do 25, not much. So they're all- they're most- mostly you're facing over here, but you can see some characters are still facing, you know, side or whatever. Okay, so let's put that back to, um, zero. Um, now the character scale randomness. Now this is how big the characters are. So, this is at 25%. You can see that some of the characters are, are a few of them actually are bigger than others. When you put out 100, every single one is gonna be huge. Or, hey, not every single one. Oh, I literally thought every single one. Maybe they're just bigger. Um, Yeah. I don't know what the use for this would be for, but maybe just like bigger crowds or you can see them better. I don't know. I'm not sure what you use that for, but do what you must. Um, okay. All right. So now we have the crowd density. So if we decrease this, you can see that there's just less, less people. So well, again, less people, literally four and let's put 25, literally one person and zeros. Mm. Oh, okay. I just in the middle. Oh, okay. All right. I, I messed with the settings too much, I think. Whoops. Okay. So now that we're done with that, the character alignment. Um, pretty much if you decrease this, they're gonna. That's a very. Oh, okay. So their positions are kind of different. I think that's what it is. Yeah, like the positions are off. Yeah, 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 they're off. Okay. So that, what that does is it, it makes their positions that they're, like, standing very off. And that looks kind of weird. And then this is just weird. This just looks very weird. All right. Um, okay. So now, going up to the width, the depth, and the height. Um, So, increasing the width just makes more and more players. So, let's put it to five. Five tiles. That's the max you can go to. That's how much people can go to in the, in the width. So... Now let's put, let's do the death, which uh, means that, uh, you know, it's increasing this way. Um, put up to five again. Yup, that's a lot. And then, did it say height? Yeah, so, the zone of height. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, yeah, so, it's just, you know, the zone's bigger. Cool. Alright, so, um, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Um, and then enable during phase, yeah, usual settings. Enable and disable, so you can enable it on a, on a channel and disable it on a specific channel. You know, the usual. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's literally it for the settings. I'm gonna show you guys some examples of how this device can actually be useful in creative. So, let me do that real quick. Okay, so, let's say that you have, uh, let's say you have some stairs, okay? Let's do literally three stairs. That's it. And let's do, actually, yeah, let's do, I'm going to do stairs for now, right? Let's say you copy a crowd device or just put it down, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think I'm going to need to turn it, though. Oh, actually, let me see. Okay, never mind. So, as you can tell, they literally fit onto the ramp or the whatever, yeah. They literally fit on it. Um, It is, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty cool how they... Just like fit onto it and they don't like overlap or whatever it just automatically oh yeah let me show you something cool so if you delete it 
That section is just gone. If you do it again. Boom. It, it takes it takes a few seconds, but so leave it there. It's all gone. Okay, why are these guys taking so long? Hello? Okay, well that's weird. Um that shouldn't happen, but there we go. Okay, so um and actually now how about we do ten stairs? I don't know why I call them ramps. And then now let's build some floors. Okay. I'm not used to PC at all. Alright, so now you already have your crowd device. I'm just gonna copy it. And you're literally just gonna come over here and just put it on. Wherever. It does not even matter. I'm gonna put it towards the middle. Boom. It's automatically places and automatically fits onto the floors. It doesn't really go onto the stairs that much because, you know, it's mainly on the floors for me. But you see this? It's easily, easily fits. And then if you want them on the uh, extra floors, you can literally just copy it again. Really, so I gotta just copy it. And if you do it a little over too much, it, it won't. It just won't fall out because it's it's precise on where it's it is or where it's placed. See, there you go. And literally, you have a crowd right here. So you some things, some games you can use this for are like if you're building like a soccer game thing and you want a crowd or you want a crowd, boom. Uh, maybe like a basketball game thing. Boom, right here. Um, if you want maybe a football kind of game. Boom, right here, a crowd. Any kind of like whatever sport, I don't know. Um, you could use this for it. It's very useful. Because now, because what you probably had used to have, used to do is you would have to place like a character device. Make an email and then place every single individual device down into your specific spot. Now... You literally just have to place it. It's that easy. Um, and you could literally have a stadium. Like, let me give you an example. So, literally, if you just want a stadium, just build the stairs over again or whatever. So, I'm just gonna do a small stadium. You guys, real quick. All right. I know the floors. What happens if I did that? Oh, oh wow! They already placed themselves. Oh, see. We've literally already played. Hold on. Wow. That's actually cool. And then, let's say I take this part off. There we go. Alright, it's supposed a quick, like, stadium thing. I wouldn't really call it a stadium. But whatever. Um, as you can see, the crowd, like, I was placing. As, as you saw, I was placing floors, and this part of the crowd already was on the platform so now let's test this out so let's get this crowd and if we turn it a little bit or probably should turn the other way actually whatever um we just place it right here boom we do it again oh there's a max uh oh i did not know there's a max how much can you use looks like five you can only use five Okay, that was like a good test then, because I did not know there was a limit. You can only use five crowd devices in a, um... Oh, I'm going to this a little towards the, um... Towards the right. There we go. Then it's a little bit. You can only use five. Oh, huh, that's very surprising. I thought you could use, like, at least, like, 20 or something. Because... Okay. Oh, well, okay, that's a good discovery. So, make sure you have enough space for five, because, um, it won't, you know, it won't work. But yeah, I think that's all I have to show you guys for today's video. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys, because, uh, I tried my best to thoroughly explain every single section of this device to make you guys understand. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications for this video, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.